I got a bad knee. <laughs> wow. I think you can do it. I've never seen that dance before. <laughs> She's younger than me, she can do it. That's her culture. What's this called again? Dragonfly dance. This is the dragonfly. Okay, let's give him a round of applause. Yes. And second dance, they called it the, dra uh, the monkey dance or sayaw ng unggoy. Because they do believe that monkeys are excellent hunter in the wild. And there's no other animals can match the ability of monkey in terms of hunting and foraging. Second dance, the monkey dance, to be performed by Kuya Greg. Kuya. Kuya. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Second, that's the monkey dance. For sayaw ng unggoy, a round of applause. Very nice. Okay. And for the last dance, they called it the war dance or the binabayani dance. The war dance? Am I gonna die? They usually perform this dance whenever there's a misunderstanding that arises between tribes. But, uh, and they normally send their young men into fighting against the other tribe. Ah. But before sending them, they would first ask the guidance of their god called Apunamalaya them at least a victorious fight or somehow resolve the problem of this whole matter. We also believe that the best dancer will be the best fighter. Ah. <laughs> okay, Thank you for watching them. Let us Salam know. Po. We're going to visit our last and final attraction, the 